Hello everyone welcome to back my channel I hope everyone is having a wonderful day, before starting the video please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up, Kyle Crisley, son of Todd Crisley of Crisley knows best fame, shared a photo on Instagram, describing an altercation with police. Crisley alleged a man had been threatening his family, only for the police to react to a claim that he himself attacked the man. Towards the end, Crisley tied what happened to a previous incident with his boss, and the caption, Crisley wrote that a man had been threatening him for months, with claims of trying to extort money from him, having also made threats to his wife and child. As he continued, the man was alleged to have rammed into Crisley's wife's car, reportedly screaming, I'll be back I got you, then threatening to run Crisley over. Crisley then claimed he was then arrested for aggravated assault after the man. Claimed he cut him. Crisley also claimed that he was also charged with resisting arrest. He alleged it was for trying to ask the officer why I'm being arrested and he's not. Crisley also took issue with the claim he cut the other man. He claimed that the weapon described resembled a machete. However, he denied owning a weapon fitting that description. Kyle Crisley is the son of real estate tycoon Todd Crisley with his ex-wife Teresa Terry. He appeared in his father's reality show, Crisley Knows Best, mostly appearing in the first season. Chloe Crisley, Kyle's daughter, has also appeared on the show. The final point in Kyle's Instagram post is believed to be a reference to Devin Campbell. According to Radar Online, Campbell was allegedly beaten by Crisley. Allegedly, Campbell, who was Crisley's boss at the time, and the incident occurred over a pay dispute. According to a police affidavit at the time, the victim stated that the defendant also displayed a fixed blade knife and threatened to kill slash stab him. The police continued that, I observed injuries to the victim's head, neck, and hand to include bruises and lacerations. Witnesses on scene confirmed that the defendant displayed a knife and threatened to stab the victim. Thanks for watching this video and please subscribe our America People News YouTube channel for more update news.